Hello, in this video I am going to solve the following problem for you. This is a problem on the topic of complex numbers related to equations. Let a and b be distinct real roots of this equation x squared plus 10x minus 2024 equals 0 and c and d be distinct complex roots of this equation x squared minus 10x plus 2024 equals to 0. Determine the exact value of the following expression ac times a minus c plus ad times a minus d plus bc times b minus c and plus bd times b minus d. That would be a good idea if you pause the video at this point and try to solve the problem yourself first. If you do the calculations correctly, the answer that you will get is 2000. Okay, so we know that a and b are distinct real roots for this. Why real roots? Because it is a matter of seconds to see that the discriminant of this function is positive. Yes, b squared minus 4 times this times that. Definitely, it becomes a positive number. And let us say that c and d are complex uh, roots of this equation. They are complex because the discriminant of this function is negative. Okay? So, a and b are the roots of this equation. c and d are the roots of this equation. And we want to find the exact value of this expression. Of course, I want to use the properties, uh, a very well-known property of the roots of a quadratic equation. Uh, no matter if, it, if they are real or complex. So we know that if I have a quadratic equation, and if x1 and x2 are the roots of that equation, either complex or real, the sum of these two is always equal to minus this divided by that, this coefficient of x divided by the coefficient of x squared, and the product of that is equal to this constant number divided by coefficient of x squared. So this is what I want to use for these two parts. So for example here, if I ask you what is a plus b, it becomes minus this coefficient divided by that coefficient which is 1, so it becomes minus 10. And if I ask you what is a times b, it is this coefficient divided by that which becomes minus 2024. And if I ask you the same question for c and d, this is the corresponding equation. So c plus d becomes minus this coefficient, which is 10 divided by 1, which is 10. And c times d becomes this coefficient divided by 1, which is 2024. So hopefully, I should find the relation between this expression that I am supposed to find its exact value with these expressions so that I can calculate the exact value for this. Okay, so you see that there is not a direct connection between the expression here and these, so it would be motivating if I just multiply to see what happens. So the question mark becomes equal. If I multiply this in, so it becomes a squared c minus a c squared. The second one will be a squared b minus a d squared. The next one becomes b squared c minus b c squared. And then finally, b squared b minus b d squared, yes? Okay, but now I want somehow to use these pieces of information. So for example, let me concentrate on constructing a plus b if possible. So for example, what I can do, I want to have a plus b involved. So for example, this one has minus a c squared, and this one has minus b c squared. If I factor a minus c squared out from here, a is left from there plus b is left. So that is good because at least I know what a plus b is, yes? Okay, so let us continue something like that. So here I take this one and this one here, and then I factor a minus d squared out. So this becomes plus a again, and that one becomes plus b. Okay, and now let us see what is left for me here. Here, between these two, I can factor a squared out. Because that's also good, you know. If I take a squared out, then c plus d is left. So that's good, because I also know what c plus d is. And then finally, these two terms are left for me. Then uh, it is clear that I am factoring b squared out from these two, so it becomes c plus d. Okay, but a plus b is minus 10, so let me put these numbers in. 
So this expression becomes equal to, this is minus 10, it's a minus sign there, so it becomes 10 c squared. This is minus 10, so it becomes 10 d squared. And then c plus d is 10, so it becomes 10 a squared. And then c plus d is again 10, so it becomes 10 d squared. Okay, so then it is, it is a simple, very simple problem now, because I can take a 10 out, then here I will have c squared plus d squared, and here I will have a squared plus b squared. But I, I need to find c squared plus d squared, I need to find a squared plus b squared according to this information that I have. So what can I do? I can write 10. Instead of c squared plus d squared, I can write c plus d totally squared, but then I will have two times the first one times the second one, which I don't have here. So to compensate for that, I write minus 2cd. Okay? And the same is for here. So I can write it as a plus b squared minus 2ab. Now, what happens now here? So uh, let me continue like this. I will write this. Instead of c plus d, I can put 10 in, 10 in, so it becomes 10 squared. Instead of a plus b, I put minus 10, but squaring it, it gives me another 10 squared, the minus sign is gone. And between these two, I factor a minus 2 out, because I don't want to calculate it, I don't want to spend time on calculation, because I need AB plus CD. If I factor a minus 2 out, I have CD plus AB, but it is clear this is 0, because AB is minus 2024, but CD is positive 2024, so this part is completely gone. And then I have 100 plus 100 is 200 times 10 is exactly 2000 as we are supposed to reach out. Okay, so I hope that this video was useful for you. Until the next video, be safe and goodbye. Thank you.